Hello, and thank you for joining me for the Cumberland County Public Library's virtual school age program. My name is Taylor. I am a youth service associate at our Hope Mills Library, and today we're going to be doing some spring drawings. If you would like, you can use crayons, colored pencils, markers, even paint if you wanted to, and if your parents will let you. <laughs> I am going to be using crayons today. Now, we're doing spring themed. So I wanted to first start out with, tell me if you think you can figure it out. I'm gonna color it in green. And it looks like we've got some gra grass going on here, excuse me. We're gonna do lots of green, green grass because all the grass grows and comes back to life with the springtime. And what else do you think grows whenever spring comes? All of the plants, the veggies, and all the little animals come out of hibernation. And so now, I'll give you another hint when I'm drawing. It has a big green stalk, like that. Can you guess? Next, we're gonna do a leaf. I bet you've already guessed what this is. I'll go ahead and tell you we're drawing a flower this time. I'm gonna do another little leaf. Awesome. And now I'm gonna take a yellow, make a little circle where I want my middle to be. And then I think pink for the petals. But you can make your petals any color you want. And we're just going to outline where the petals are. This flower is going to have three petals. Or three, I can't count. It's going to have four petals. One, two, three, four. And we're just going to color it all in. I think we might be able to fit in one more petal right there. There we go. I think that looks really nice, don't you? But maybe we can spice it up a little bit more. Because where's the sky at? I haven't even drawn a sky. The sky's not just white. Let's put a little sun up in the sky. A little color in the sun with yellow. And then we'll draw some rays because the sunshine helps make everything grow. And then we'll take our blue and maybe we'll outline where we want some clouds to be. I'm going to have that cloud and maybe this cloud right over here. And then I'm going to take my blue and just color all in the background. Awesome. So that is my flower in some grass with a pretty blue sky and a sunshine. I'm actually going to take, I'm going to take a purple and I'm going to give my sunshine some eyes and a smiley face because I think the sun is very happy. And that is our first drawing. We have a pink flower. Moving on. We're going to do something that we see a lot of in spring. So when it rains, the sky is very dark and there's a lot of clouds. 
So we're going to draw a lot of clouds, some big, big, big clouds. And you notice I'm drawing them all at the bottom. And there's a reason for that. I'll show you. So we have our two clouds right here. And now, what happens after it rains? Do you know? When the sun comes back out, sometimes, if you're really, really lucky, you can see a rainbow. So we're going to draw a rainbow. What do you think? So to do a rainbow, you start with red, and it arches like that. We're going to make one big line with our red, just like this. Awesome. And next is orange. Oop. And it's okay if you can't get your curves perfect. I have a hard time with it. <laughs> Just color that in. Next is yellow. And an easy way to help you remember what order the colors go in for a rainbow is Roy G. Biv. That's what they taught me in school. And so it's all of the first letters of each of the colors. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So that was yellow, and then we're going to do green. There's our green coming around. Now we're going to do blue. Indigo is kind of like a mix between blue and purple, so we're going to do another blue part right here. And you'll see what we'll do to make it look like indigo. color all that in. And now to make indigo, we're going to take our purple and color over it, over that little section of blue we just made. And that's kind of what indigo looks like. Now, it says violet, but violet is honestly just another name for purple. So we're going to take our purple and do the last color. And there we go. That is our rainbow. And again, be just because I like happy things, we have our two clouds. And since they got all the rain out, we're going to take our crayons and we're going to make them happy. Because now they got all the rain out. And they're so happy. And now they have a rainbow. Yay! Of course, you don't have to do this. I just like being silly like this. <laughs> Yay! And there's our rainbow! So if you're enjoying this uh, draw along program and you want to do more art in the future, you can come to any of our eight library branches. And in our kids section, we have a juvenile nonfiction section. And in there, we have a bunch of art related books. There's books to teach you how to draw or step-by-step -step processes and stuff. And we also have craft books as well. It's super neat and you should definitely check it out. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, this has been the Cumberland County Public Library's uh, school age virtual program. And we'll see you next time.